will share with you a very silly thing. When I went to United States and started practicing as a pharmacy intern to begin with, I didn't know, I was not even familiar with names, names of people. We are familiar with Ashok and we are familiar with Dave and Patel and Patil and all those. But when you hear all these names that you have never heard in your life, Francois or Jefferson's, and, and you don't even know how to spell that name. And when doctors write a prescription, they scribble it. See? It's very difficult to, I mean, understand the name. I can understand the medicine. I can guess that the first letter is this and it ends like this and this is the milligram and this is the dose. So from that I used to guess. But when it came to name, I had a hard time typing a prescription label with the direction to be given to the patients. You see? And my pharmacists were quite mischievous with me. They wanted to teach me lessons. So one day they prepared a prescription on their own as if doctor wrote it and they asked me to type it down. They typed it, Buffalo Jefferson, right? And the address they put down was 701 or something and Prostitute Avenue. And the medicine name was proper and the doctor's signature. And uh, so he said, Mr. Patel, type this uh, prescription uh, direction. So I started typing and I typed Buffalo Patterson or Buffalo Jefferson and 701 Prostitute Avenue and all. I did that. I was so naive that no one can have a name starting with Buffalo and there's nothing like Prostitute Avenue. But I was so new to that country. So they had a big laugh and I'm sure they still must be talking that this boy from you in India came and we made fun of him. So when we don't know things, people will surely make fun of you. Not to that extent, but we are afraid to make any mistakes later on. See? Even in genuine mistakes, you will not be able to tolerate. After all, it's a medical profession, see. And whenever you're not very sure and you feel that you're making a mistake, consult, consult your superiors. And there is no harm. But if you think you're making a mistake, always double check. There is no feeling, there should not be a feeling of inferiority in there because you're going to catch up sooner or later in a two year, three years or three years. You'll catch up with your profession and when you develop confidence, then you are the master of your profession. See? But if, you, if I tell you develop confidence in the beginning, it's not going to happen unless you master your profession. So it's good to be at the anxious level, worrisome level in the beginning so that we don't make mistakes. It's okay. So you're passing through a temporary stage. Pass through it and one day you'll become master. <laughs>